Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the first Pocket Now Challenge, where we test real world smartphone usage by pitting two Pocket Now editors against each other. Now we're starting this series off with a bang, literally. For the month of July, we were feeling a bit patriotic at PocketNow.com, so Adam Lane and I faced off in a photography challenge to see who could capture the best photo of celebratory fireworks. Now, Adam is an accomplished photographer and he's been a primary resource in how we've been crafting our smartphone camera reviews. He's also one of the most senior producers on the site, writing for pocketnow.com since its inception. For all of the content creation experience between the two of us, the subtitle for this challenge might as well have been the best laid plans of mice and men. My intention with this fireworks challenge was to travel all the way to Brooklyn Bridge Park really early on the 4th of July get a good spot and uh, set up my tripod and, you know, take some really epic photographs of the Macy's 4th of July fireworks over there in Manhattan. Found a pretty nice spot here. That looked pretty good, but then I moved south a bit more and found another spot here. And that's where I decided to wait for four hours. Then, with one hour to go before the show was about to start, the rain came. So Adam's got a pretty crazy advantage in uh, doing this out in New York. You've got that New York City skyline that he can fall back on. And uh, you know, I've taken some fireworks photos out here in Los Angeles before, and they almost always come out looking kind of plain. Uh, you know, unless you're right on top of some iconic landmark, it's just fireworks up in the sky. And I want something a little bit more recognizable than that. I want something a little bit more identifiable. And so to, uh, to rectify that situation, we're actually driving down now. We're gonna go hit the fireworks show at Dodger Stadium, um, which is gonna be bonus points because it's gonna be my, uh, my little baby daughter's first baseball game. So that's, that's gonna be pretty cool too. But we wanted something that, that's iconic, that's Americana, that's definitely, it's quintessential Los Angeles. So hopefully we can give Adam a good run for his money with a really exciting locale. Okay, it's pouring here. We're in New York City, Brooklyn Park. <laughs> And I think we're gonna bomb it. It's gonna be really difficult to shoot fireworks in the pouring rain. And my phone's getting wet, and I don't like that either. So what do we know about Adam? We know that he's a Windows Phone fan. So in a photography contest, that means I'm probably gonna be facing off against a Lumia 1020. He might surprise me, maybe throw in a, a 950 or a 930 or a 1520, but nah, this is photos, so he's probably gonna go with the bigger image sensor, the uh, the mighty 1020 pure view camera system, that two third inch sensor. So I've really been struggling as to what I'm going to bring to fight that. Uh, I know fireworks are high contrast lighting situations. There'd be like dark skies, dark baseball stadium, bright lights that I wanna try and capture. So uh, ultimately, I mean, I really, uh, I was really struggling with this. I was looking at the LG G5 or the Galaxy S7, but the Galaxy S7's low light capabilities, image stabilization, that's not really what I need. I need better contrast and color. So I ultimately sided on the Huawei P9. And should it should really be a really interesting fight because now we've got Android versus Windows Phone and we also have Zeiss versus Leica as uh, the companies responsible for sort of influencing the cameras on their various platforms. However, I also went to a fireworks show on July 3rd. This one was at Conseco Dam, uh, a much more intimate setting. I bicycled there so as to avoid traffic and of course brought a couple Lumia 1020s and a tripod. I set everything to manual, manual focus, ISO 100, one second shutter speed, raw DNG capture, works. So Dodger Stadium doesn't allow tripods. Uh, I actually did read that before we drove ourselves down there. I, I thought I was gonna be all clever and hide this in our diaper bag. This is a gorilla pod, which turned out to be absolutely useless as I didn't have really anything to attach it to. We were just a little too far away from a railing for this to actually come in handy. Now, even though the P9 doesn't have optical image stabilization, I was actually able to pull off a couple decent handheld shots with shutter speeds up to around a second. And I don't have the steadiest hands. But Ultimately, the lighting at Dodger Stadium proved to be too much. They couldn't shut down all of the lights and the field was still pretty well lit. So even shots up to a half second shutter proved to be too bright for me to recover information in the raw file. Long exposures were out of the question. So instead of trying to fight movement, holding as steady as possible, why not embrace movement? And here it is. Great photo needs to catch your attention. 
and then bring your eyes into the details and hopefully generate an emotional response. With this one, the explosion at the top is very crisp, with thin glowing lines that are almost straight. It looks like a floating star. At the bottom, you can see details of the people watching the show. We can see the texture in this girl's braided hair. We can even tell what kind of phone she's using to photograph the show. Then there's this woman who isn't facing the fireworks. Is she taking a selfie? Is she taking a picture of the audience? We'll never know, but it's interesting to wonder what she's doing. The P9 is capable of stitching together some pretty decent panorama shots, so about halfway through the fireworks display, I just started scanning the whole stadium hoping to line up really well with a good burst of fireworks. I really wanted to show off the location, really tie into the feel of the place that we were at. And, and really, what's more Americana than baseball? If I could have pulled off a selfie of me shoving apple pie in my face with a fireworks burst going off in the background, I totally would have. So even though I didn't intend to, shooting wide helped deliver a sense of scale of where I was at how many people were down on the field, and how these fireworks were lighting up the night sky. It maybe minimizes the actual fireworks bursts more than I'd wanted to, but considering the limitations of the location, I'm pretty happy with how this shot came out. In terms of post-production, I didn't do much at all to this photo. I did crop it a bit so that the main firework was more centered, and I used some ACR adjustment brushes to change the exposure of the really bright areas. I also tweaked the white balance a bit in the raw file to get the color where I wanted it to be. And this photo did require some editing and post. I had to mess around a lot with the exposure, the contrast, a little couple tweaks to highlights and shadow detail, but I did try to keep the camera's graininess. So when I started the panorama shot, it pulled its exposure information from one of the darkest sections of the shot. So the ISO is just off the charts. The camera's cranking that as high as it can to try and expose for the scene, not knowing that about halfway through the shot, it's gonna be a perfectly well-lit field. I ultimately end up with a dirtier image, but I kinda like a little texture in my shots. It reminds me of old, cheap film stock. As far as an emotional reaction, at least for me, this image reminds me a lot of growing up in a small town where everyone would gather at the local park for a local fireworks display. I remember seeing the faces of my friends only when the glow from the explosions shined the light on them. It was a much more intimate scene, and considering how awful it was trying to see the massive Manhattan fireworks, I like the intimate display a lot better. It was an amazing night. The Dodgers won against the Orioles, so there's that, kudos. But more importantly, my wife and I, we got to see our little baby daughter's eyes just go wide as we were sitting there in Dodger Stadium watching a pretty great fireworks display. So there you have it, folks. You get to vote on a battle of opposites. One of the more senior editors at Pocket Now against one of the more junior producers. We've got East Coast versus West Coast, Windows Phone versus Android, Zeiss versus Leica, and uh, a very intimate portrayal of a fireworks display against something a bit wider, bolder, and a little more grand. And while we both faced our own unique, unforeseen challenges, I think we both rose to the occasion and were able to deliver some cool shots for you guys to check out. Who takes the win in our first Pocket Now challenge? You decide. Hit the more info icon so you can vote in the poll on this video. We're gonna let this run for about a week and then we're gonna produce a wrap up video detailing the results so that you guys know who you picked to be the winner of this first showdown. And did you take any fireworks photos from your phone during 4th of July celebrations? Maybe you were out there celebrating Canada Day? Hmm? Neighbors to the north? Would you like to see one of your photos featured in our winner announcement video later in the month? Send us an email at podcast at pocketnow.com. Tell us a little bit about how you took the shot, what phone you were using, where you were shooting these fireworks. We know we've got some talented folks out in our audience and we'd love to show off your work too. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for future challenges. We're going to be detailing the next month challenge with our winner announcement video, so you guys can be prepped for that. Definitely stay tuned. We've got some fun stuff coming up for the Pocket Now Challenge. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell. You can catch me on Twitter and Instagram as some gadget guy, and give Adam a follow as at Adam Z E A Adam Zea on Twitter. Uh, definitely uh, check his work out too because he's a phenomenal photographer and if you've been following me for content creation, you should definitely be following him too. So hit that thumbs up button for a little extra positive reinforcement and I will catch you all on the next video. Uh, <laughs>